Yo, what's going on guys, and welcome back to episode 84 of the New World Iron Man series. In the last episode, we got a lot of skilling done, stocked up on a good amount of ironwood planks, and in this episode, we're going to be using some of that glittering ebony that we crafted. I do plan to do some fire staff rolls in this episode for PvE. I'm probably going to force Bane plus Attunement and just free roll the random third perk, but that's not going to be until we finish our Genesis runs, and I do believe we have quite a few left we have 12 left actually not that much they're like 17 minute runs so i should knock those out either today or tomorrow and then we'll be rolling fire staffs i am so hyped for this fire staff buff it looks insane incinerate got a massive buff meteor shower got a huge buff all the banes on mage and range weapons got a 10 percent buff you know light attacks no longer consume mana it looks like mage is finally going to be at the forefront of dpsing as it should be mages are glass cannons they should be top tier dps um, I, I'm just worried about when this update goes through and Phalanx is still in the game for mutations. I, I do believe they left that in the game. They removed the mob damage type resistances, which is nice because that was unfairly targeting mages. But the Phalanx, that's going to be an issue. You're going to have to either get up close and cast your spells or bring a melee weapon to swap to. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But either way, we're going to be crafting some fire staffs and preparing for this update to hit. Think I'm going to get anything good from the chests? Hell no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo! Full 3 out of 3 vest and slot for my VGIG build. I mean, they're actually, they're heavy pants. Those are hard to fit into a setup, but it is possible. Refreshing Ward is so good for VGIG. My, dude, my PvP setup is just going to the moon today. We got this gauntlet, and now these pants, these are full vest and slot for me. Let's see. Oh shit, we rolled rogue. Oh my freaking goodness. It's like best in slot, like actually best in slot, like no cap. With the reverse stab, I mean, I know that's guaranteed, but it's actually a really nice perk reverse stab, 15% more damage. Dude, did not think we'd get the rogue perk. What about this? Trenchant recovery on the greatsword? Oh, we are, we are in business. This is probably the best gen run probably of my life in terms of loot. Those were almost back to back in the chest as well. That was absolutely insane. What else we got in here? Keep it going. Freedom, oh that's intelligence. Who knows, they might be good. They might be good, this is actually insane. Oh, rolled burning on the ring as well? <laughs> yeah, this is hands down the best luck we've ever had from a single gen run. Okay, so just for some context on how rare that was, let's look at the Mossborn Longsword of the Soldier on New World Database and check out the perk bucket. Let's see the percentage chance of Rogue. It's pretty far down the list, man. 1.47% chance to get Rogue. And we can also check out the Mossborn Greatsword while we're here. Let's see Trenchant Recovery. That's 1.84% chance. So we have to land the Legendary, and then on top of that, as the random third perk, land a perk less than 2%. Oh my god, two in one run. Yeah, that was absurd luck. Oh my god. No, that was silver? No way. Oh, I think we missed the gatherables. Dang it, 15 minutes and 13 seconds. Yeah, we must have missed gatherables. Hold on, let me check the point screen here. Oh, we were so close to gold. We didn't have any deaths or any team wipes. No, we hit gatherables. We missed mob count by one mob. No way. A 15 minute... That should have been gold. Oh, baby. Five. Yes, that one was gold. 15 minutes and 9 seconds. 4 seconds faster than last time. And gold. Looks like we hit mob count this time. But it wasn't a fluke. This team is just insanely good. Oh, 100%. Definitely made a few of them cry. <sighs> 1432. Well, that's the last mutated run of the week. Sadly, because this was a great team and we were trying to get a top 5 speed run. I think we got top 15, and we had like three or four runs that were going to be top five. This team can definitely do it. They have the potential. But we just got trolled one way or another. Somehow something always happened. Let me see if I can show you guys. Garden of Genesis, clear time. Let me scroll down. Where are we at? Here, Soloyami, rank 14 for the week with a 1349 clear. But like Walla, we could have got rank two. We, we could have had so many runs like low 11s, high 10s. We couldn't compete with this team, but I know Heemstar, he's really good at the game, so 
That doesn't surprise me they got rank 1. But we could have at least had rank 2. Like, 5 runs in a row. We got so trolled on so many parts. But this was a great team. And we finished all of our runs really quickly, so... Yeah, I don't have anything bad to say. Let's just loot these chests and get out of here, I guess. Well, I was refraining from opening all of these mutator reward caches, because inventory space is getting to be a struggle. But we may as well crack them open. There's a lot of them here, so it's going to be a lot of bumper shards. And that brings us up to a grand total of... I wish there was an easier way to check. You know what? Let me count them up, because we have all of these on us, and then we also have a ton here in Restless Shores. And we have more up here in Everfall, so I'm pretty sure we're past a million, but... I'll count it up for you guys real quick, hold on. Well, I just totaled them all up, and we're at 1,046,299 Umbral Shards. So with that Genesis session, we did pass the 1 million Umbral Shard mark. I thought we passed that a while ago, but either way, I'm glad to have it done. Not that it has any use, but I'm a, I imagine one day it will. I think in the roadmap for 2023, they did mention gear score increases. I don't know if that's going to be through Umbral Shards, but if it is, I think we're pretty much set. And I got this earlier, but forgot to show it to you guys because I was so focused on getting the speed run. But we got a really nice Void Gauntlet, Pure Int, Vicious, Ancient Bane, and Putrefying Scream. It sounded really nice, actually, but Putrefying Scream is not that useful in mutations. I do have one with Vicious, Ancient Bane, and Voracious Blade, which I think is a little bit better, but this one's Pure Int. And in a Nature Mutation, this might be a little bit better than Voracious Blade. Okay, seeing as how we're done with mutations for the week, I do want to roll some Fire Staffs now, but we only have two pieces of the Arcana set. I just checked, we only have the hat from Banes and the Concoctor's Coat, I think from the final boss on the Imperial Palace Chester, and I believe that's where you get it, I forgot where we got it. But we need the shoes, the pants, and the gloves, and apparently you get, what do you get from this guy? The gloves come from Entropy, so that's going to be a pain. The pants come from the Siren's Dog, so that's going to be a pain. But the shoes come from this mob called Kale at Malevolence. It only has 30k HP, so I can solo farm these, and then we'll move on to the more difficult ones. I might be able to bump into a group with the Siren's Dog. That is a pretty popular gear score farming spot. But Entropy, whew, I might have to stay on top of my Malevolence chest runs to get this one, because nobody farms Entropy. Okay, well, this looks tricky. We found the boss, but we also found, like, 10 mobs that come with it. I do have my Angry Earth set on and Trenchant Recovery on my Greatsword, so I think we should be okay. Maybe once I clear these mobs out, I can just, you know, not deal with them. Let's see. Yeah, we got it. We're good. We're good. Did we get it on the first kill? Nope, but I guess the boss spawns here. I've never seen it before. This is like the staircase you take up to Bane's. Never saw a boss here. That thing, his name is Kale? Right, Kale. Like, 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 the, like that nasty-ass cabbage? Oh. <laughs> I might leave that in the clip. I don't know. Alright, we just got the concoctor shoe. Sorry, I had to mute. I was on Discord with, <laughs> with somebody. Oh my god. That didn't take that long. I'm not gonna lie. This boss spawns in like two minutes. So I think we were only here like 30-ish minutes. Not too bad. That's three or five pieces. And of course, the last two pieces are the hardest to get. So I don't know if I'm gonna get them tonight, but we'll see. Well, I'm gonna try to go get the concoctor gloves now, but no promises. I'm not gonna try to get a group together because... Nobody's gonna farm entropy with me. That's just gonna be a waste of time So instead what I decided to do is kit out my full heavy angry earth tank set the harbinger set that we farmed like 10 or 20 episodes ago And we're just gonna try to use that with a leeching crosscut and trenchant recovery greatsword and see if we can solo it We might have a chance actually. I know it has like 400,000 HP But I might have to respec for the grit, but we may be able to do it with this Okay, I'm pretty sure Entropy spawns down here with all these archers. Ugh. This is not gonna be pretty, but let's give it a go. Actually, they don't have that much HP for elite mobs. Okay, there's Entropy. We did manage to get through the mobs by ourselves. Oh yeah, he has like 400k HP. Actually, this isn't so bad. Can I actually solo farm Entropy? This is silly. I mean, oh wait, my Blight Resistance. No, I forgot to put my Blight Tinctures on the hot bar. Oh, now, now it's like I'm diseased. My healing is reduced and my damage output's reduced. This is stupid.
Okay, well, we were actually able to solo it. It is a little bit annoying, because if you walk off the platform... Oh, never mind. Okay, we got him on the first kill. <laughs> I mean, we soloed him, right? Okay, thank God. Get me the hell out of here. That was really lucky, because I was just saying, that's going to be a really annoying boss to solo. But first kill, you know, the usual Yami luck. Nothing new here. Let's get out of here. Well, that was extremely lucky. Now we're going to go try our luck at the last piece of the Concocter set, which is the Pants. Which comes from the Siren's Dog, which is the very last boss in Siren's Stand. So I'm going to have to run all the way through it, get through Brute, but there is a solo path you can take through Brute. I'll show it to you if it's not patched yet. But we're going to be running the full Brined Heavy set from Barnacles to tank with. Uh, I'm not going to put gems in there because it's not that serious. I think with my Greatsword I should be able to stay alive just fine. Okay, well an ECR must have ran through here because for some reason the gate's open. This is very lucky. Okay, this was a very long run to get here. We better not die. This was, this actually took like 10 minutes to get here. I hope those mobs de-aggro. Uh, no, it doesn't look like they're going to de-aggro great. Well, this is why we have detonate, right? Oh, no. Oh, that's really annoying. No way. I mean, there's a shrine I can spawn that uh, right here, but I can't get, you can't do the jump from the shrine up to the dog. I have to do the whole run again. Well, at least the gate is still open. Okay, I de-aggroed or cleared all the mobs that I could. Let's try this again. A little more carefully this time. This is a very strong boss. Okay, well things got a little hairy towards the end there, but we did manage to kill him and we got a purple bag as our first drop. Let's see. No, just Obsidian Gypsum, okay. Oh, I got a funny feeling since we got so lucky at Entropy, we're going to get very unlucky here. And this is a miserable place to be unlucky. Sir. God damn it. I gotta kill the Trailblazer. Oh, and I aggroed the- oh shit. Okay, I'm actually dead. Nope. Oh wait. Relentless Rush? Oh, that actually saved me there. Come on. No, this is so cringe if I die right here. Just kill the Siren's Dog. Ah! No, okay, I'm dead. Damn it, damn it, I think I'm dead. There's nothing downstairs, so at least I can run down here while I heal. I need to put on a sword and shield as my secondary. What's the chances of that, man? Let me go up here. Oh, that's so, oh, <laughs> that's so annoying. I need to put on a sword and shield secondary. That would have saved me there, my fault. All right, maybe I can cheese my way back up because this is so close. The siren's dog is literally right up there, but you can't make this jump. But what I could do is fall, like over here, get underneath it, and then unstuck. Maybe that will put me up there. And if not, I could always re-log, because I think it goes off your last position. I could re-log, and then... Did it? No, it didn't. Okay, I'm going to jump down and re-log, and then try to unstuck again. Okay, I re-log, let's try to unstuck now. Hopefully it puts me directly up. That would be such a time saver. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it goes off your previous position, and this is where I logged in, so... That makes sense, right? Unless I can cheese my way up this wall, but... Well, hold on a second. Okay. Well... A little bit of parkour, and we saved ourselves a five minute run. That is freaking awesome. Dude, the ranged mobs in this game are so annoying. She's been sitting there running back and forth. She's the only mob that hasn't retreated yet. Like, what is this? <laughs> Get out of here, you goofball. I showed you OMG. Oh, I got the Crestborn bow. What is this? Keen speed and enchanted. We'll upgrade it. Oh, no, I banked all my shards, didn't I? Okay, well, over to the wiki. Hold on, I have the page up. Crestborn, the third perk is refreshing evasion. Ew. It's like, this is such a hard boss at the tippy tippy top of this elite zone. And he doesn't drop anything nice. Not even, he has a rapier called Siren's Marcado, And it is dog water as well. It's just the pants to come here for. Well, I didn't notice I was recording and then I pressed record before he died and accidentally ended the clip. But we did get the concocter pants, luckily. I think that was only kill like number seven or eight. Thankfully, because this place is really testing my patience right now, but we are done with the whole Arcana set. I'm actually surprised we got it all done tonight. 
Um, we do have two of the major trophies, I do believe. Let me see. It's Ancient Text and Philosopher's Stone. So we have two of the Ancient Texts and two Philosopher's Stones. So we have two majors and then we can make one minor. And I'm pretty sure we have the food recipe unlocked, which is plus 15. So that's 593 to 600. One in eight chance to get a legendary. <sighs> Let me go try to make the food and then maybe we'll do some fire staff rolls tonight. Okay, the only ingredient we're missing to make this wild berry infusion, which is the arcana food, is just some regular berries. And I'm having no luck finding them. It says they should be right here. This is the second berry spawn I've come to. I don't know what they look like, man. They're just regular berries, apparently. Wait a second, what are these? Berry bush, there we go. Dude, these were so hard to find. Okay, so these are unspawned berry bushes. That's what I was trying to pick this whole time. Okay, well that's everything. We just need to make the trophies now and we should be good. I double checked, we do have the town buff active. Sweet wild berry infusion, we'll make two of them. Who knows if I wanna roll again in the future. Oh, we ended up getting a bonus on a 13% chance, cool. All right, I still need to farm the materials to make the medium and major tier, but we can make the three minor arcana crafting trophies right now. So let's do that. This is plus nine when we set all three of these up, but we can make two minors. I just need to go I think chop some weird wood and mine a little bit more auric alchem. Okay, I just finished gathering. It's time to craft two basic arcana trophies and we also have the materials to take them to major. So let's get these basic ones done. I'm probably gonna roll the fire staffs tomorrow cause I'm getting a little sleepy. This was an all day grind even though we got extremely lucky. We're finally consuming these philosopher stones. I got these on that chest drum before they nerfed it. Uh, I'm glad to have gotten two because we did get the text to go with them, but three would have been really nice. Major Arcana Trophies. The first one's on the account. And we do have the Miner as well, so that's... These are plus five and then plus three, so plus 13. Yeah, 595 to 600. But that will be tomorrow. We do have the Arcana boost up for another 62 hours, so... We're good on that. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Okay, it's the next day. Let's see how many timeless fire staff shards we have. I've never crafted a fire staff on this account, so it might be a little or it might be a lot. Where the heck are they? Are they not in here? 49. Okay, we're gonna be using... It's like two or three per golden scare rule. I think it's three. Let me find the attunement perk and the banecraft mod, and we're gonna do a few rolls today. Now, I do believe this is everything. Let's check the ingredients to craft an Orichalcum Fire Staff. We need... Oh, is it really six Fire Quintessence? That's a lot. I thought it was going to be like two or three. I do have a ton of Fire Wisps. I converted down all my moat a while back. Oh, we're going to have to use the whole stack. Oh, that's really disappointing. I didn't think it was going to be this expensive, but... Let's do it. 72 Fire Quintessence. Holy cow. Got a decent bonus amount there as well. Okay, so this is about 15 fire staff rolls. That's more than I actually have the materials for, so we're good. Let me pop the arcana food and we will get crafting. Let's see, golden scarab. Oh, intelligence. Go fire staffs, golden scarab, glittering ebony, fire quintessence, 588. Oh, I don't have my earrings on, hold on. Do I not have Arcana earrings? Wait, there's just simply no way, right? Oh, I don't think I have the Arcana earrings. Uh-oh. Let me see what craft mod that is. Oh, oh my god, we have one. I thought this was going to be the deal breaker for us. We have a craft mod to make the earrings. We don't actually have a pair of the earrings. Oh my god, these charms are so hard to get if you need one in a pinch. Oh, thank god. Okay, we can craft some earrings. I thought that was gonna be the deal breaker right there. Okay, I think this is everything. We're just gonna use a cut pristine carnelian because I'm never gonna use all 21 of these. I think the gear score range is fine as long as it has plus 5 minimum on it. This is my only charm. Yeah, I think it should be fine though. Yes, plus 5 minimum and refreshing evasion. Cool. Okay, let me throw those on and get rolling. That scared the crap out of me. Okay, before we craft, I pulled out all the good fire staffs from my storage sheds that I already own so we can narrow down what we actually need to craft. So let's go through those real quick. We already have a top tier Angry Earthbane fire staff with Enchanted and Keenly Empowered. We have a couple top tier Corrupted Bane fire staffs, Keen Vicious Corrupted Bane. We have Corrupted Bane, Stable Incinerate, and Enchanted. 
and Corrupted Bane, Refreshing Move, and Stable Incinerate. And we have one top tier Fire Staff for Lost Bane, Vicious, Empowering Fireball, and Lost Bane. Actually, we have two of these. I got a duplicate drop of this last Tempest run. But the only good Fire Staff we don't currently own is an Ancient Bane Fire Staff. So that's what we're going to start off with first. Let's open it up, come down to Golden Scarabs. Is this it? God, this UI is so hard to read. Yes, 595 to 600, Intelligence with two perks. We'll guarantee Ancient Bane, and we'll guarantee Arboreal Attunement. I, I don't mind free rolling the third perk, because we could get any of the Fire Staff perks, Empowering Fireball, Stable Incinerate, etc. Or we could land Vicious, which is what I really want. It's a 17% chance to get Vicious. So I think free rolling the random perk is our good option, while guaranteeing the Bane that we need, and Attunement, because that's not in the random perk pool. So this looks pretty good. We'll do these one at a time, and hopefully we get lucky. It's a 1 in 8, and we've got... We have more than 8 rolls, but until we have to fill up on Azoth, we have 6 rolls. So we'll do these one at a time and see what we get. Okay, no luck in that bat, sadly. Let me stock back up on Azoth. And we will continue the rolls. I'll scrap down these fire staffs for bonus Asmodeum as well. 595. Okay. I do need to go get more linen arcane embroideries for my storage shed as well. No, I'm going a little drier than I thought I would be. Okay, let's try this again. Intelligence, golden scarab. Blowing through the golden scarabs here, but it is what it is. Four more rolls, it looks like. One of these has to be legendary. Oh god, we got an Arcana Aptitude Crate. No, this is my last roll. What am I limited by, though? I think... No, not Azoth. We have two... What am I limited by here? Huh, I'm not sure. We'll see. Probably like an Evergreen Shard or something. Oh uh, yeah, Evergreen Shard. Okay, we'll just put on the Flame Attunement, because why not? It's not that bad to have a flame, flame attunement fire staff. I do have more evergreen shards, I just don't want to go hunt them down. Come on, legendary. Yes, what do we get? Vicious! Whew, okay. Yes, dude, full bis. We just rolled full bis. Absolute best fire staff in the game for ancient content. It was worth it. Honestly, that was worth it. Holy cow. I don't know if I want to link that in chat to, like, you know, spoil the episode for people. Because that is, that's absolutely bis. That is so freaking incredible. I guess it's okay that um, we wasted all our mats on that. Because now that's every Bane. Not including Beast Bane. But like, what the heck is Beast Bane anyway, right? Oh my god. What a relief. I thought we were going to have no reward for all that. And on that note, with this huge feeling of relief, I'm going to be ending this episode here. Those rolls were an emotional roller coaster, so thank you very much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe before you head out, and in the next episode, we'll be continuing to build out our fire staff loadouts. I do have some charms for weapon perks, so maybe we can roll some gear. I do have 595 to 600 unlocked on gear, just not on any of the weapons, like Engineering Arcana or whatever. But that'll be for the next episode, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like before you head out, and I'll see you guys then.